Get your game on, everybody. I'm Juice with Juice Gaming, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels, the GX Series walkthrough. This is part 18, with our hero Jaden Yuki on the left versus Sartorius on the right. Now, I'm going to try to give Sartorius a little bit of a different voice, because I did just recently uh, rewatch some of Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, he seems to have a little bit of a higher-pitched voice, so I'm going to try to go for a swing of it. Don't hate on me too much. This is all, you know, for fun. So bear with me as we get into the Hand of Justice. Now, I think this is, I think, the last, uh, second to last duel. Yeah. Uh, second to last duel of the season. Why they put that one as the last duel of season two, I have no idea. Because this duel wasn't really shown at, like, at all in the anime. Other than the beginning and then the end. The rest of the duel was between these two. So I don't see why they added that one other than maybe a duel filler. But there were so many other duels they could have put in. Anyways, let's get into it, guys. Astro Phoenix soon learned who the Destiny card had corrupted. It was Sartorius. Now, knowing the truth, Aster confronted Sartorius, who was controlled by the Light of Destruction. In order to truly free Sartorius from the Light of Destruction, I have to defeat him right here and now. How noble! Game on! Okay, that sounded horrible, guys. I'll try it from a different approach. I actually have to stick to his original voice I had him, which is a soft voice. I mean, he does have the higher-pitched voice, but I don't really have a high-pitched voice, personally. Aster lost his duel with Sartorius. It was up to Jaden to defeat Sartorius and save him from the Light of Destruction. Aster, are you alright? Jaden, that's not Sartorius! It's not? No, his body's been taken over by some power-hungry alien, and only you can stop it. Please stop it! It's too late for me! You foolish human, I have traveled through space to purify your planet with the power of light. Destruction is creation. No, you're going to do things my way, bro. Get your game on. All right, so we're going to be using the new Neos hero deck I created that I mentioned in my last video. If you guys watched it, if you didn't, hey guys, welcome. If you, this is your first time here. Hi, I'm Deuce. I'm the number one worst voice actor. It's a title I bear proudly because it just means I'm entitled to do a whole bunch of different voices all at once, at least in my opinion, because uh, it's, it's a way for me to grow. So, um, as I say in every video, I'm willing to learn. If you guys have any tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments down below because I am willing to learn. Okay, really fast, we're going to activate terraforming. This allows us to add Neospace to our hand. Yes, that's right, Neospace. And if you're wondering why I have Burstinatrix, well, that's because I'm a sucker and and I, I, you know, I, you know, I think she's hot. Pun intended, guys. Anyways, guys, we're going to use Future Fusion. And really quickly, guys, we're going to uh, summon Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Now, there is a reason. This monster cannot be destroyed by battle. And, okay, if I get the right cards played, I can get Shining Phoenix Enforcer. And for every Elemental Hero card that is on the field, okay... I gain life points. Wait. I was thinking of Neo Space and Air Hummingbird. The reason why I'm summoning... I was thinking... Okay. The reason why I'm summoning him to get Shining Phoenix Enforcer is because his attack points increase by 300 points for every elemental hero in the graveyard, and he can be destroyed by battle. And the reason why I summon Neo Space and Air Hummingbird instead of Bersinatrix is because of, I can use Neo Space's effect because if I have a Chrysalis monster, I can send it to the graveyard to summon the Neo Space and an Air Hummingbird grants me 500 life points for every card in my opponent's hand. I just gained 2,500 life points, guys. That's really going to help us in this duel. Okay, that was a mouthful. I'm sorry about that. I'm really tired. It's like 1 a.m. for me. All right, so he's going to activate Pot of Greed, which allows him to draw two cards and he summon uh, the Agent of Creation Venus. He can pay 500 life points to add a Mystic Shine creature. Uh, Mystic Shrine Ball, and he's going to summon another one. I really don't see the point of this one, guys. Hmm. Because, like, he uses way different cards. Yeah, there they are, Arcana Force. All right, so I'm gonna lose 800 life points. We're gonna activate E Hero Signal, guys. E Hero Signal allows us to special summon an Elemental Hero monster from our deck to the field. So we're going to summon Elemental Hero Clayman in defense mode to protect our ass. All right, hang on, let me read this card's effect. Oh, come on, let me read the card effect. Although it is pretty cool that it has uh, an animation. 
but we have to face off with this thing. Uh, when a Speller Trap card is... Yeah, that's bad. Alright, so we're going to summon Chrysalis Pantail. We're going to activate Chrysalis Pantail's effect to special summon Neospatian Dark Panther. Once per turn, you can target one face up muscle your opponent controls until the end phase. While well, you control this face-up card, this card's name and effect become those targets. Hang on, uh, can I use uh, three monsters to control the graveyard? You cannot be special in by other ways. When this card is special, summon toss a coin, this gains the effect. During either player's turn, when a spell or trap card, monster effect is targeted, this card gains, and this card loses exactly 1,000 points, and you can negate it if you do destroy it. Alright, hang on, guys. Until the um, end phase while you control this face up card. Okay, so I made a boo boo. I thought I could use. Wait. We're gonna use. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna use it on him. Okay, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Okay, so it's a good thing we got those life points, guys, because we're about to lose a lot of life points. <clears throat> Alright, so he's going to flip that. Alright, so it looks like they lose all, all his Arcana Force monsters. Lose 500 life points. So now, that Elemental Hero Shining is like a need right now. That is a must. Alright, that's the second turn. Deep Future Fusion. Fuse, uh, fusion Summons. Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. In defense mode. Because it can't be destroyed by battle, guys. Alrighty then, we literally can't do anything until we get a Polymerization and an Elemental Hero Sparkman. He's going to set a monster face down in defense mode, he's going to switch those two to defense mode, and he's going to end his turn. We are literally going to have to play at balls to the wall right now. So we're going to set Burstinatrix face down in hopes that maybe he doesn't attack it. More than likely he's going to though. Because it is how it is, and I'm hoping to get it so we can get Necro Shade, and my Necro Shade gets destroyed. Yada yada yada. Uh, sh oh crap! That's not good, guys. That's not good, guys. Well, we just lost a crap ton of life points, guys. And not in the good way. Um, hmm. That card is of no use. Alrighty, so we're gonna wait it out. Player Scare might come in handy if we can get Neos on the field. But until we can get Neos, it's no use. Oh, you douche nugget. Why couldn't you let me draw the two cards, luck? Alright, hang on. Okay, so this card allows us to special summon a Neospatian card, but our monster would not be strong enough, so we're going to wait and literally hope we actually get the cards we need or technically wait them out until uh, we draw the cards. I might edit it here and there and you'll see me edit it uh, if it gets like incredibly boring. And we can't use contact fusion guys unless, unless we have the, both monsters on the field which is the problem. It's because I can't get two monsters on the field or else I would gladly. Come on gold. Yes! Guess what, guys? I'm essentially going to probably end up busting my own ass over this, but you know what? He has, even though he has three monsters on the field, we can just keep sending it back to his hand. You know what? So we're going to summon Chrysalis Mole, activate Chrysalis Mole's effect. If we end up losing this, then I don't care. It'll, be a, it'll have been worth it. Because, in my opinion... Even though, you know, he used its effect. 
Both cards are sent to our hand. We're gonna go into our main phase two. We're gonna set this down so we don't have to discard any cards. Oh, damn it, we could have dis discarded Necroshade. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I made a boo boo, guys. Uh, actually, we'll wait on that one. Because he's probably gonna end up sacrificing the three. Okay, hang on. Come on, sacrifice your three monsters. Yep, there we go. Yep. Hero Blast. We're going to summon Clayman. Please let me summon it in defense mode. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it just adds it to our hand. Oh, wait. This monster has less attack points. I'm a dork. Alrighty, hang on. Uh, double the attack points equal to the tribute. Okay, so he'll be useful later. But we're going to summon Grand Mole again, and we're going to attack mode. We're going to attack his monster, activate Neo Space and Grand Mole's effect, to return both cards to the hand. We're going to end our turn. Now we're going to have to discard a card. Guess what? We're discarding Necroshade. We have to discard another? Really? We'll discard Clayman. I know we essentially wasted, but I was trying to use Hero Blast to destroy his monster, but I completely spaced. That has to be the monster's attack points. Uh... Alrighty, so he has his Light Ruler again. It's heads. Oh, wait, no. I thought... Oh, I don't know, guys. Hang on, let me look at... Alright, huh. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to summon him using... Oh, wait, hang on, we can't do both. Uh, wait. Yes, we can. Wait. So we can use Common Soul. Using the effects of Necroshade, we're going to summon Elemental Hero Neos. We're going to activate Common Soul, which allows us to select Neos and Special Summon uh, Grand Mole. Now we probably could sum hang on. we could probably summon uh where is he at? This guy. Uh during the end phase shuffle this card and show this couple of which I know the cards on the field. Alright. So we're gonna special summon Elements of Hero Grand Neos. The contact fusion, not regular fusion, contact fusion, elemental hero grand neos. We're going to activate his effect to return one monster on the side of the field. What? That is such horseshit. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to sacrifice Phoenix Enforcer. Because if we're going to lose, we're going to go out with the bang, damn it. He gains the double the attack points. We're going to equip him with Assault Armor. Um, uh, he lose 500 life points. Uh, but he'd go back down to 3,300 so he won't really lose. And eh, it'll be worth it. We're going to activate Assault Armor. Tribute this card so this monster can attack twice in two, one turn. So we're going to attack and destroy that bad boy, and then we're going to attack him directly and make him lose 3,300 life points, which leaves him with one. Uh, I miscounted. Alright, so really quickly. Alright, we're going to end our turn. Now, if you're wondering why I have Turret Warrior in this deck, that is because he's awesome, and since this is basically essentially almost an all-warrior deck, it's awesome. Alright, so we're going to summon Elemental Hero Neos Alias to the field. <clears throat> And there's a reason behind it. I mean, I know we don't have much life points to spare, but in the end, it'll help us. So we're going to attack Space Down, and the Fool cannot be destroyed by battle. So we'll just attack it again, just because we can. And we're going to end our turn. we got to try to get Flare Scarab out on the field uh, with Neos Alias, once it's known as... Uh, come on, let me drop two cards. Damn it. He's going to set another monster face down, and then this turn, we cannot get let him get another three monsters. Right, so just in case we're gonna, I know I'm basically uh, fucking myself up with that. 
But we're going to summon ne Elemental Hero Neos alias. Now he is known as Elemental Hero Neos, and he does gain a 500 uh, attack point bonus thanks to Neos face. So we're going to have him destroy that face down, which is the Agent of Creation. Now watch this. Because he's known as Neos, he gets that little animation. I don't know if that's a mess up on the animator side or if that's the whole point of it. Because, But, you know, it is what it is. But in my opinion, that's freaking cool. Alright, so he's going to set that amount, another monster face down and end his turn. It's my draw. This is a really long episode and I do apologize, guys. But we're summoning Neospatian Flare Scarab. Now, that card gains 400 attack points for every spell and trap card on the, my opponent controls. Now we can special summon this bad boy, um, Neos, uh, Elemental Hero Flare Neos, into attack mode. And his attack points become 3,000, and he gains 400 attack points for every spell and trap card on the field. So his attack points are now 6,200, guys. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, this guy destroy that face down, which is another fool. So if he gets another fool, we're essentially screwed. No. If you guys are wondering what it means by activating spell, it means sending him to the deck and then resummoning the two monsters. That ain't happening, guys. All right, miracle contact. All right. Um. Hmm. We're going to summon Elemental Hero Sparkman, and we literally can't do Squat because of the Fool. Because it can't be destroyed by battle. It has to be by card effect. <clears throat> so he's going to sacrifice those two to summon Arcana Force uh, 21. Alright, this is where we're activating Mirror Force so we don't lose. No. Alright, it's my draw, guys. And this is the, look, looks like it's the end of the video. Alright, so we're going to attack mode, and we're going to attack with Flare, uh, Neos, and end the duel. Now, I was cutting it close, guys. That was a real Yu-Gi-Oh! duel where my life points were almost dead, and I somehow pulled a comeback by using my brain. Here we go. After defeating Sartorius, the Light of Destruction vanished. Sartorius was finally free of its influence. Forgive me. It's my fault that things went this far. Hey, no worries. It wasn't. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't have been someone else, right? Besides, it all worked out in the end. Yes. Thank you. Thanks to you. Now, if I read that wrong, I do apologize, guys. It is like 1 o'clock in the morning for me, so I'm really tired. Anyway, guys, I'm Deuce with Deuce Gaming. Please like and subscribe down below. And also comment down below for any games you want to see on how to improve my videos and my channel because I'm always willing to learn. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace!